Here's a countdown of the top 10 Ruggiero Deodato films, ranked from the worst to the best, starting from number 10 to the most iconic at number 1. Top 10 Ruggiero Deodato films, worst to best, 10 That Ballad in Blood, 2016. Deodato's late career effort, Ballad in Blood, while provocative and disturbing, doesn't reach the heights of his earlier works. Based on the infamous Amanda Knox case, the film dives into themes of murder, youth, and media sensationalism, but it lacks the raw punch of Deodato's better-known films. It remains an intriguing modern addition, but falls short of his legacy. 9. The Washing Machine, 1993 In this giallo thriller, Deodato explores sexual intrigue and murder in a plot involving three sisters. While it's lesser known, The Washing Machine is a stylish and twisted take on the giallo genre, filled with eroticism and psychological tension. Fans of Italian horror may enjoy it, but it doesn't have the same impact or notoriety as his more extreme works. 8. Body Count, 1986 Deodato's venture into the slasher genre with Body Count has become a cult favorite, but it doesn't match the critical acclaim of his earlier films. Set at a camping resort, it follows the typical American slasher formula, though with Deodato's flair for violence. It's enjoyable for slasher fans, but remains one of his lighter, more conventional efforts. 7. De Raiders of Atlantis, 1983 This sci-fi action-adventure takes Deodato away from horror and into the realm of pulpy thrillers. Raiders of Atlantis is campy fun, full of action, explosions, and a far-fetched plot about a resurrected ancient civilization. While not as infamous as his horror works, it has gained a loyal following for its over-the-top, entertaining style. 6. Phantom of Death, 1988 Phantom of Death features strong performances by Michael York and Donald Pleasance in a psychological horror thriller. The film focuses on a disfigured pianist who becomes a killer, combining Deodato's knack for gore with more sophisticated storytelling. It's a moody, tension-filled film, but it often gets overshadowed by his more shocking works. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subscribing and clicking the bell. 5. Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man, 1976 This Poliziotesco, Italian crime thriller, is a fast-paced, violent ride through Rome with two rogue cops who take justice into their own hands. Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man is one of Deodato's best non-horror films, filled with thrilling action sequences, motorcycle chases, and brutal vigilante justice. It shows his versatility and remains a favorite among fans of Italian crime cinema. For Dot Cut and Run, 1985. Combining jungle adventure with brutal violence, Cut and Run takes viewers on a dangerous journey through the Amazon, mixing drug trafficking with exploitation cinema. With Michael Berryman in a menacing role, the film is known for its thrilling pace and graphic content, making it a highlight in Deodato's jungle horror adventure phase. 3. Jungle Holocaust, 1977 This precursor to Cannibal Holocaust marked Deodato's foray into the extreme world of jungle survival horror. Jungle Holocaust explores the brutality of civilization versus savagery, featuring graphic violence and disturbing imagery. It set the stage for the more infamous Cannibal Holocaust and remains a key film in the Italian cannibal genre. 2. The House on the Edge of the Park, 1980 a brutal home invasion thriller that showcases David Hess at his most terrifying. The House on the Edge of the Park is one of Deodato's most shocking and disturbing films. This exploitation thriller is infamous for its relentless violence and tension, earning comparisons to Last House on the Left. Its raw, disturbing nature has made it a cult classic among horror fans. 1. Cannibal Holocaust, 1980 At the top of the list is Cannibal Holocaust, Deodato's most notorious and controversial film. With its blend of documentary-style filmmaking and extreme violence, the film became a landmark in the horror genre. Its realistic effects led to Deodato being arrested on suspicion of murder, and it remains one of the most banned and debated films in cinema history. Cannibal Holocaust is a brutal, unflinching commentary on media sensationalism and the line between civilization and savagery, making it not only Deodato's most famous film but also his most influential. This ranking reflects how Deodato's career evolved, 
with Cannibal Holocaust standing out as his most extreme and influential work. His ability to blend visceral horror with thought-provoking social commentary is what solidified his place in cinematic history. Who's your daddy?